Can you hear me? Yep, yes, we hear you. Okay, thanks. So I want to first start off by saying a Bible verse that I think um, represents y'all's podcast the most. So, but, <laughs> okay, so it says, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will teach them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. So my question is, well, first, I do think that you are, well, clearly Myron's a teacher, but all I think Chris of the is guys a teacher. that watch y'all have <laughs> different ears and what's funny? Because you said I'm a teacher and I said, well, anyway. technically only Chris is the teacher here. What's your question? Go ahead. <laughs> I, get okay, what, I, get, so I get what you're saying, though. Do you think that God? Do you think that God made it so that men can be lustful and promiscuous, but women can't? I know what argument you make. She went off the Bible. So. I see where she's going with this. Yeah. And obviously not. I want Myron to answer that. He's not Christian. He's not Christian. Well, Islam says the same thing, so. She tried to qualify to Myron. Uh, you got multiple wives, so. What are you trying well, to say here? Well, it also says that he has to ask his first wife for permission to get another wife, so. Okay. But he can, though. Well, can Myron speak? <laughs> well, Myron says women weren't meant to be promiscuous, so that's why I'm asking him this. I never said that. And he says men and women aren't the same. He says that all the time. Yes. So what, what is your issue? Your issue is that men can be promiscuous and women can't? Is that what your issue is? Is that what your question is? Well, my issue is, well, my logic is neither can, but you make it seem as though men can, but women can't. And my logic is neither one can, but you make it seem as though it's okay for men to be promiscuous and sleep with women out in even in marriage or if you know they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend <sighs> promiscuity does not have the same level of negative impact on a male psyche as it does on a female psyche period Well, I understand that. Yo, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Yo, how old are you? You say to send a man wait, 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 wait. to how old be are you? lustful and how to old you? spread his seed. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Wait, 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 wait. You what? 27. Okay, cool. 27. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. God damn. <laughs> All right, so what do you have to say to that then? Oh, what did you say? I said, what do you have to say to my, to my statement about the, the promiscuity affecting men differently than women? Um, well, I don't think it affects them differently because sin is genderless. So It's what? It's what? I think it's still... Sin, sin is, is genderless. genderless. <laughs> okay, but we're not, talk we're, we're not talking about j religion right now, right? Or if you want to bring it back to religion, you could have this talk with Fresh then. But I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about just straight biology here, how it works, etc. I'm not talking about religion. Religion reaffirms what I'm saying a lot of the times. But what I'm saying is that, simply put, promiscuity does not affect men the same way it affects women. For example, if a man has 100 bodies versus a woman has 100 bodies, are they the same? Answer the question, please. Yes, because they will both go to hell, but... No, 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 no. Again, we're not talking about religion here. Because, because hold on, that man can have the 100 bodies through, you know... Through uh through a bunch of marriages, technically, but the woman ain't gonna have no hundred bodies through marriages. Come on, man. Well, I don't like how you say that it's in a man's nature because it makes it seem as though that's how God intended it, which clearly it he didn't intend it that way. Okay, look, you wanna use religion? What was it, King Solomon or whatever his name is? Yeah. He had how many how many chicks did he have? Thousand. Thousand? Plus hundred, I believe. Okay. It's since the beginning of time, right, since you want to always, uh, you know, go to religion, 
Higher status men have had a bunch of women, and they were just fine, but it doesn't work the other way around, okay? Now, keeping it out of religion, my point is simply this. Does a woman that has 100 bodies, is she the same as a man that has 100 bodies from a mental standpoint and stability standpoint? No. Okay, there you go. That's why it's different. Sex affects women differently. I don't know why you want to sit here and try to argue with me about this. It absolutely affects them differently. It's not the same. But I if can men have, can be promiscuous, but women can't, then who are they promiscuous with? They were promiscuous with women. Exactly. So. But who picks who fucks? The man or the woman? Well, yeah, women do. Oh, do okay. Over, All right, so it's so, so it's their decision but... to make. So it's on the females, man. Like, there's no way you could really spin this. Like, it's on the woman, period. For example, right? I have... 500, right? Whatever, bodies, right? This nigga said, oh, let's, says I don't have it. Whatever the fuck. Let's say I have 100, right? I could probably still find a woman, okay. get married, and have a happy marriage. But if I take a chick that has 100 mar- bodies, she ain't having no, having no happy marriage, bro. At all. It's done. She's fried. It's not the same. At all. Me having a high body count, a woman having a, body, a high body count are not <laughs> nowhere near the same. I know you don't like that, but men and women are not the same. Period. Call and it, I know you don't like the way I say things, but it's the truth. This call, let's call this arguing religion. You're arguing a worldly view, and it would never match. But also as well... But even though she's arguing religion, religion even reaffirms what I say. Like, promiscuous women have never been respected well, in any religion. religion promiscuous women have never been respected in any okay, religion. Well, you did bring up King Solomon... The um, God spoke against him and also said that he sinned. So I know you want to pick and choose the Bible no, verses. No, you're missing that, the whole point. He said it's an man's it. nature the to. Story. You're missing the, the point. Yeah. So the foundation is King Solomon, even though he was God's chosen, still sinned because it was in his nature to sin and have other women. So what are you trying to say? You're trying to conflate male promiscuity and female promiscuity, and I'm saying it's not the same at all. <laughs> They're not the same, bro. bro. A I'm chick that's a hoe will both. never be respected, period. Probably. A man that's promiscuous will be respected, period. That's what it is. Hold on. Are you a virgin? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you funny, nigga. Bro. Okay, yo. Yo, you sound good. Yo, bro. You are hilarious, stupid. by the way. That was easy. You sin- stupid. You sinner. Jesus. You sinned already. <laughs> you sinner. Fatality. What that was sinner, easy. Man? You have anything else you want to say? Nope. <laughs> um, not really. I guess that was my only question. All jokes aside, though, uh, caller, I get what you're, what you're trying to say. Um, and also, you're pointing the finger at men, but just to be real, Adam and Eve, if you're Genesis, uh, so so to speak, who caused a sin to happen? It was Eve. So ultimately, I get what you're saying, but uh, for this show only, yeah. we're talking about men and women in real life in terms of like the worldly view and how it is with dating so because religion is separate yep uh, but a promiscuous woman is nowhere well, near the same as a promiscuous man you're crazy if you think it is yeah i never said that you tried I to conflate it. that you're allowing these men to think that they can be sexually promiscuous because they're men yeah they absolutely can be and still be able to find a woman at the end of the road but it doesn't work the other way around yes man can be promiscuous and i would argue they should be promiscuous if they've worked really hard to build themselves up to the point where they can have sexual abundance. They should be. Fuck that. Like, men should be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor. I, I Like, why is it that women should have to be able to demand standards on men, right? I want six feet tall, this much money, etc. And they don't even earn that shit versus a man has to earn his status. He has to earn his money. He has to earn his abundance. And then they, we tell him, no, no, no. Repress your sexuality. Re- you'd be disciplined with your dick. Do, don't do what you want to do. No, fuck that. If a man busts his ass to get to a certain point, I'm not going to have no bitch tell me what I can and can't do. Fuck that shit. I had to earn my value. Uh, Women don't. This was something else that I had written down, too, that you just said. Um, because the Bible says that it's easier for... Fuck the Bible. I don't care what the Bible got to for... say. I'm telling you promiscuity... <laughs> Versus, like, I'm telling you what promiscuity is between men and women. You keep bringing it back to religion. I'm not here to have a religion deb- debate with you. That's why when you were talking about the Bible, I left fresh answer. You want to hear Myron's answer? This is Myron's answer. I don't give a fuck about your book. Okay, well, I'm, I'm so telling you how it is between men and women, period. All right? That's what it is. I'm telling you what it is between men and women, period. I don't give a fuck about what book you're trying to read to me right now. 
Uh, no, no, no religion, since you want to bring it to religion, no religion has ever respected female promiscuity. Period. <laughs> what? Okay, well, can I tell this to Fresh then? Yeah, go ahead. Since he is your co-host. I was just going to say that the Bible says that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Um, because I find that rich people don't aren't humble and they're very prideful. And what you just said was, well, I'm rich and I'm successful and I've created this status. And so I don't have to listen to anybody. Well, I, that would be the reason why you wouldn't enter the kingdom of heaven because you don't think that you have to listen to anybody or any rules. I will uh, agree with you. Um, when you're rich, you have a stubborn heart and it's hardened by your actions of, um, you know, arrogance. So you are correct there. Uh, also, I would never say F the Quran. Uh, Myron, so I'm not gonna lie, man. That was kind of well. Cause well, I didn't mean it literally like fuck the Bible, but I, f I meant as it fuck what this chick is trying to say with she kept bringing it to the Bible. Religion, religion. Yeah, okay, like, cool. uh, like there, there you go. My Chad. bad, Chad. 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 Yeah, yeah he, my, he, my bad, Chad. I didn't mean it like fuck there. the Bible, like he fuck meant, the Bible. He, I meant as in like fuck meant. the Bible, as in, in the context of this conversation, you keep bringing it up. Yeah. She keeps running back to that. That's what I meant it as. But yeah, caller, we're not talking about uh, religion on the podcast, it's more of like I want to say worldly semantics and uh. Just to figure, to me, this concluded here. Um, Myron is not going to follow the Bible, so you bringing up these points is kind of pointless. Which is why I'm responding to you, so well, you can understand. Well, I brought it up because most of his, um, I would assume most of the people that watch him are Christian. So, well, I don't know the actual number for religion, but it's worldwide. Bro, so, I this mean, isn't a religious podcast. Yeah. Like me and Fresh are not practicing in either of our religions, so I don't know why you're bringing I know, that I know up. You say you weren't um, religious. So why the, the fuck are you talking about religion? You, they might be Christian. <laughs> then why are you talking about religion? Yeah, I, I kept trying to None, tell you not, that. See, here's the thing. I hate when y'all call in and talk about religion when me and Fresh clear never say that we're super religious or anything. We actually try to keep this podcast as secular as possible so that we don't got niggas crying in here talking about, you quoted this verse incorrectly. Yeah. Bro, we don't talk about religion. Why are you bringing it to religion? I'm talking about strictly biology. Men are able to be promiscuous and women aren't. That's what I'm trying to say. We're talking strictly biology, what the numbers say, etc. Women that have high body counts typically don't do well in relationships. Men can have high body counts and be fine in relationships because we're not the ones ending them regardless of our body count, but women definitely are ending them. That's my argument. Correct. Anything else? Okay. <laughs> no, I guess not. All right. Thanks for the call. <laughs> Man. Woo, I got heated. She just doesn't like the way I say things. Yeah, too. yeah. She kept. She but, had a real issue she, with like how I say she, things. She's trying to argue, which which I understand what she's trying to say, but like it's not gonna work here because we're not based off of like religious beliefs. It's more like not at all secular, we get practical, real time advice with how the sexual marketplace is. And the current said it a million world. times that we're not religious in yeah. our re respective religions, right? So, yeah. yeah. I don't mean like fuck the Bible, guys. I mean as yeah, like fuck the Bible in the context of this conversation because she kept referring back to the Bible and yeah. it's like, bro. We're, we're not, why are you talking about religion to two guys that pure, pure, say every single time we're not religious? He was saying in a nutshell, basically, listen. Like, fuck her conversation thread yeah, is what it is. That foundation we're not going off of, so it, it just doesn't make any sense. So, all right. <sighs> Man. Crisis King, though. <laughs> Crisis King. That's fine. Uh, cool. What else? It's like Blog Talk.